What is going on guys, Infinite Oni here, and welcome to the very first Skyrim build video that I have ever done, period. And uh, this character is known as the Scarecrow, based off the uh, Batman villain. So the Scarecrow basically, he focuses on fear magic, which is what the Scarecrow in the Batman series does. Though it's not necessarily magic, um, he like creates toxic gases and whatnot that scares the crap out of everybody. And uh, gives them hallucinations how that they're seeing stuff that's scary and would frighten them. So that is the concept of the build. It is a very fun build to play. I mean, essentially you're playing a pure mage. A limited pure mage, but it is very fun to do. So allow me to go over the skill trees real fast, and then I'll show you some gameplay, and that'll be it. So Illusion, I uh, got it at 100. Uh, you want every single perk you can get. You want to basically master Illusion. So use Muffle. You can spam Muffle and boost that up no problem if you want. And uh, yeah. So what you do want primarily what you're going to really want is master illusion you like so you really whoa sorry you really want to master it and master of the mind also really helps when you fight like undead and the uh, dwarven automations and the daedra and whatnot so illusion is your focus here uh conjuration this is going to be your like hallucinations like when you scare people and they see things and whatnot that scare them that's what Conjuration does, and this includes Bound Weapons, though I did not uh, take any of the perks like Mystic Binding and Soul Stealer and whatnot. That is optional if you do want to uh, t uh, take a route like that as well, um, but I primarily focused on the like these right here. I got up to Expert because you really don't need to get to Master per se unless you really want to. Well, summon thralls and whatnot, that's cool, but I can't really see that happening from this character. But again, you know, it's up to you. And uh, of course, I take dual casting so they last longer. Uh, you're focusing on the uh, pretty much the Atronach or Summoner portion here. So you want to get two out of two there, or at least one out of two, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Atromancy gets the double duration and the elemental potency. So, and Twin Souls. That's important, so you can get two out there at a time. Uh, third on my list was enchanting, but you really only need to get like five out of five here. Uh, insightful enchanter, corp. Oh gosh, this is embarrassing. Corpus enchanter and extra effect. And what the reason you're doing enchanting is, of course, low cost gear. And you can create zero cost gear for like your conjuration and illusion and whatnot. Now, another primary skill I've actually taken is alchemy because Scarecrow was very smart and he came up with like all kinds of poisons and whatnot and toxics. So, alchemy, I just put five out of five here and I took phys, uh, physician, or physic, whatever. Um, but that they are 25% more powerful, but I went with the poison route. So you want to make more poisons here. Uh, and make them like 25% more effective. Concentrated poison is a good one too. Green thumb, that's an optional one. You don't actually have to have that. But if you want to do your stuff faster per se. And get a higher chance of gathering your ingredients for your poisons and whatnot. That's good to have. Oh gosh. Snake blood. You are 50% resistant. You have 50% resistance to all poisons. So that is good to have. And uh, purity. As we all know. Is all the negative effects are removed from the created potions. And all positive effects are removed from creating poisons. Now as an option. Which I had earlier maxed out. You can take speech. Because Scarecrow was very smart. And I'm sure he could, uh, can intimidate people. And whatnot. So, if you want to take a speech route, you know that is really cool. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty much like the base build. Like, it's a cookie cutter build. You don't have to play it this way, but it, it's an idea. And some people are, one of my viewers actually has tried this build out and I inspired him to do it, and he's having fun with it. So, 
But yeah, so the aesthetics you want to go for is just like any ragged robe, so it could be a rough spun tunic or just something raggedy. Uh, some mage gloves, just regular gloves, boots, and a cultist mask. But we got some enchanted gear, so I enchanted the cultist mask. In fact, let me go ahead and show you what I got real fast. Um, I'm wearing the amulet of Akatosh, though I could uh, create a necklace with fortify conjuration and illusion, which I probably should do. Or if you want to do that, that's cool. I just happen to have picked this up early in the game. Uh, I didn't enchant any boots, but uh, let's see the scarecrow's gloves. It's uh, your creative potions are 25% more powerful and also got 45 magic on there, so it increases my magic by 62 points. The scarecrow mask is uh, it's an enchanted cultist mask that I created. Your illusion and conjuration spells cost 27 less to cast. Uh, combine that with the Scarecrow's Rags, which is the um, ragged robes you can actually get in Helgen, um, where you'll find the Stormcloak Soldier and, like in a cage. That's where you get those, like at the very beginning of the game. And I enchanted that with the Illusion and Conjuration uh, as well, 27% less to cast. And the Scarecrow's Silver Ring is the same thing. So it cuts down all my cost. So yeah. So let's try this out and get the idea. We are going to use Hysteria. We're going to go in the middle of town to do this. We can do it here. Find a good spot, okay. So we all know Scarecrow likes to just pretty much spread fear into people. And... Hang on, Hysteria. Yeah, they flee from combat. Now, let's get some hallucinations in there. Yeah, this can be a pretty fun build to do. Where you just spread fear in everybody. But yeah, that is the concept of the Scarecrow. So, I hope you all enjoy it. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to hit me up. On Twitter and or, uh... YouTube. And, uh... I will see you guys later. Take care now, and bye-bye then.